Following the unveiling and christening ceremony in September of the previous year, Taiwan's submarine program reached a significant milestone under the domestic ship, domestically built policy with the launch of its first locally produced submarine. After the September ceremony, the indigenous defense submarine, IDS, named Haikun SS-711, had remained inside the assembled facility for months awaiting its launch. On February 22nd, the 35,000-ton floating dry dock, Zhongxin No. 8, discreetly arrived outside the CSBC shipyard in Kaohsiung. On February 26, the public witnessed the submarine being moved from the assembly facility. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Haikun would be critical for Taiwan's defense plan against China. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. As per some reports, Haikun's design seems to be a development of the Dutch Walrus class, incorporating a hybrid single and double hull and sharing notable features like the X-Rudder. The submarine is equipped with six torpedo tubes. However, official specifications, including fundamental details such as length and displacement, have not been publicly disclosed at this time. The initiation of the construction of the Haikun submarine took place in 2020 and was carried out by CSBC Corporation, a company specializing in the manufacturing of container ships and military vessels in the region. The submarine program relies on a collaborative network of global expertise and components. Apart from acquiring technology from countries such as the US and the UK, Taiwan has also recruited engineers, technicians, and former naval officers from Australia, South Korea, India, Spain, and Canada, as reported by Reuters. This marks a significant achievement for diplomatically isolated Taiwan. The boat is thought to be assembled using Japanese construction techniques and a Japanese team consisting of retired engineers from Mitsubishi and Kawasaki Heavy Industries is believed to have provided technical support. Carrying a price tag of $1.5 billion, the submarine's displacement weight is about 2,500 to 3,000 tons and has a length of approximately 700 meters long. Reports state that the combat systems and torpedoes sourced are from the U.S. defense company Lockheed Martin. The primary weapons will be the Mark 48 heavyweight torpedoes. This torpedo has a range in excess of 50 kilometers or 31 miles and can be used to take out enemy submarines and surface vessels. A single hit from this torpedo can cripple a large warship and sink an enemy submarine. After sea trials, the Haikun is scheduled to be delivered to the Taiwanese Navy before the end of the next year. It's estimated that around 40% of the boat features domestic content. In the initial stage of the Harbor Acceptance Trial, or HAT, CSBC reported that successful execution of vital tests, including the watertight test, weight distribution control, ballast control, and stability control test of the hull. In the upcoming months, during the second phase of the Harbor Acceptance Trial, the Haikun will undergo assessments of the propulsion system, subsystems, calibration, and subsequent installation tasks. These tasks involve installing essential components such as the core of a diesel submarine, the batteries, and various mast raising equipment, including optronics, ESM, radar and communication masts, among others. According to Taiwan's military and CSBC, only after successful completion of the HAT tests will the prototype move on to sea acceptance tests, or SAT. Huang Shu Kuang, the leader of Taiwan's indigenous defense submarine, 
IDS program responsible for the Haikun launch previously told local media that the prototype will complete both the HAT and SAT before being delivered to the Navy at some point before the end of 2024. As per Huang, after completing the required combat readiness tests by the Navy, Haikun will hopefully be commissioned into the Navy next year. The Indigenous Defense Submarine Program is also aiming to build another domestic submarine by 2027. This means that Taiwan's Navy is said to have three operational submarines by 2025 and four by 2027. This count includes the two current Sheng Lung class Sword Dragon submarines acquired from the Netherlands in the 1980s. Viewers may note that in addition to the domestically produced submarines, Taiwan currently maintains two World War II era submarines obtained from the United States in the 1970s, but they are primarily employed for training purposes. Indigenous Defense Submarine IDS, program calls for the development of eight submarines of this type. There's no denying that the Indigenous Defense Submarine Initiative has been taken up, keeping China in mind. During a speech to commemorate the Communist Party's 100-year anniversary in 2021, Chinese President Xi Jinping stated, Resolving the Taiwan question and realizing China's complete reunification is a historic mission and an unshakable commitment of the party. In 2023, Xi said on the opening day of the week-long key once in a five-year Congress of the ruling Communist Party of China, or CPC, we will not renounce the use of force and will take all necessary measures to stop all separatist movements in Taiwan. Several American political and military leaders have stated that China could invade Taiwan within this decade. So the threat of incursion is very real. China is separated from Taiwan through the Taiwan Strait, which is about 100 miles or 160 kilometers wide. Chinese military will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. A major amphibious operation will have to be undertaken by China. This is where Haikun would be critical. The submarine aligns perfectly with Taiwan's overall strategy of deterrence and asymmetric warfare. The new Taiwanese subs could potentially inflict heavy damage on the People's Liberation Army Navy warships and submarines and buy time for an intervention from allies like the U.S. and Japan. Unlike surface vessels and fighter jet bases, a submarine is hard to neutralize with a preemptive strike since they remain elusive to the preying eyes of military satellites. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.